Welcome back. We're finally here. We're going to build our first web part. I hope you enjoyed the previous chapters on setting up a development environment and the anatomy of a web part. But now we're actually going to build our web part in JavaScript, React and in Vue.js. Let's dive straight in. So we're going to create the folder for our new web part. I'm going to go into the folder and then I'm going to make a folder for each of our solutions. So I'm going to make one for Vue.js. I'm going to make one for React.js and I'm going to make one for just plain JavaScript. Let's create our JavaScript version of our web part. So I want to go into JS and then I type yo. I want to choose PMP SPFX. I want SharePoint Online. And I want to choose Enhance SPFX, but no framework. I'm going to type A to toggle all on there. I'm going to choose the latest TypeScript. I'll press A again to toggle all of those on. None. No framework this time. The solution name is called Welcome. I want to use the current folder. I'm going to put yes, I do want to deploy this and I'll go for the defaults for that. Web part is going to be called welcome web part JS. And I'm going to put the description as say hello to the current user. Now I'm going to do a gulp build and the gulp serve to check that our web part is working. Add our web part. Excellent, the default web part is working. So I'm going to break into that. So now I'm going to open it in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to go to the source folder, into web parts, and there's our web part in here. So what I'm going to do in our web part here, so I'm going to get the current hour. I'm going to do constant hours, which is a number equals new date get hours. I'm going to default a message to good morning. Then I'm going to check if it's afternoon. Then I'm going to check if it's less than six o'clock. Set the message to good afternoon. Otherwise, set it to good evening and just change that to a let as we're changing the value. So we're letting our message be good morning, good afternoon or good evening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of this and instead of welcome, I'm going to put in there our message. And then instead of to SharePoint, I'm going to put in here this dot context dot page context dot user dot display name. And that will use a SharePoint context to find the current user on the page of which, which this web part sits on. So now, if I save all those files, 
I'll open a terminal and I'll do gulp serve. I'll add our web part and there we are, good afternoon user one. If I go to my live context, notice the special layout workbench.aspx will allow us to run it in our live environment. If I add the web part in there, we can see it works in the proper context. Let's build our web part in React.js. So I'm going to go into our React.js folder and I'm going to type yo. I'm going to choose PMPSPFX, SharePoint Online only. And this time I'm going to choose React.js. I'm going to click A for all. I'm going to use the latest version of Office UI Fabric and the latest version of TypeScript. I'm going to select all by clicking A. None. No test framework for today. So the solution name is going to be welcome. I'll use the current folder I want to say yes to this one because I want to deploy it to all my sites. I'm going to go with the default no. I'm going to do a web part. I'm going to call the web part welcome web part. And I'm going to call this one react.js. And say, say hello to the current user. Now I'm going to build the web part. run the web part and there's our default web part I'm going to break into it look at the code so I'm going to look at the source of the web parts and there I can see all my source code so I'm going to go into our first bit and the first thing I'm going to do is add a couple of properties in here I'm going to put message and I'm going to put display name as a string so now I'm going to set the message based on the time of day so first of all I want to record the hours So now I need to see if it's afternoon or evening. So if it's afternoon, set the message to good afternoon. Otherwise, set the message evening. So we default to morning if it's afternoon, but it's before uh, six o'clock, we say good afternoon, otherwise good evening. And then we need to pass these through. So the message is going to be message and the display name is equal to this dot context dot page context dot user dot display name then we need to go to our properties we need to add them in here and we go back to our code okay finally we need to look into here and I want to delete all of this 
and then instead of welcome, I want to put in there this dot properties props dot message. Then in here, I want to put this dot props dot display name. So we'll be saying good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to the user's display name. So let's bring up a terminal. Let's save all our files. And now let's run that to see that web part working. So I'll add that in. That's working. And if I go to our live environment, using the underscore layouts workbench ending. I can now run that. And it's got the proper context for this afternoon. So let's create our Vue.js web part. I'm going to go into the Vue.js folder and I'm going to type yo. I'm going to choose the PMP SPFX generator. If you want to see about installing this, click the link above. I'm going to choose SharePoint Online only. And I'm going to scroll down and choose the Vue.js template. I'm going to select everything by clicking A. I'll go with the latest TypeScript version. I'll select everything by clicking A. I'll choose none. I'll go with the default by pressing enter. So the solution name, I'm going to call welcome. I'm going to use the current folder. I'm going to go with the default. Do you want to allow the tenant admin a choice of deploying all? Actually, I'm going to choose yes to allow it to appear on all sites. I'll go with the default no. I'm going to choose web part and I'm going to call our web part welcome web part say hello to the current user now that's built let's open up our editor let's open up a terminal And let's build our solution. Let's run our solution. And there's our default web part. I'm going to break into that. And I'm going to edit the code. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into the source into web parts and let's have a look at our TypeScript file. I want to add in a couple of properties here to the default description property. I want to put in here message string and I want to add display name string. I want to do a simple date calculation to see if it's morning, afternoon or evening. So First, let's store the hours. Next, let's do a simple message. So by default, the message is good morning. However, if it's after 12 o'clock, we need to check if it's afternoon or evening. So if it's between the hours of 12 and five, then we'll say good afternoon. Otherwise we can know it's evening. So we need to also set the uh, these properties and pass them in. So I'm going to add those in now.
we add the message to point to our local variable that we've set up here. And the display name we're going to set to the current context this dot context which is the SharePoint context and we want to look at the page context we want to look at the user object and we want to use a display name from there so this is going to pass this through to our component so let's open our component and we want to display that data we'll leave some of these styles in so that we can see them working and we'll remove these additional ones and we'll change this welcome message to be the message we're passing in we'll change this one to be the display name so it will say good morning good evening or good afternoon to the display name and then we'll make sure that these are passed in by adding them to the properties here and also implementing them down here Let's save all our files. Let's build our web part. Let's run our web part. And there we are, we have it running. If we now move to our live server, we can put a special URL, layouts, workbench.aspx, and this will now run in the context of our live site. And there we are. Good afternoon, Rob Perming. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. Join us next time when we're going to look into properties and see how we can really make our web parts work for us. If you haven't done already, please click the subscribe button and the notification icon and I'll see you next time.